What's up, guys? NYKEA31 here, NCAA Online Game, Friends List Game. Had to get some Notre Dame gameplay in to talk about Mr. Everett Golson. What to make of this Everett Golson situation? As we all know by now, he has been kicked out of school, kicked off the team for the time being, for quote unquote poor academic judgment. That is the vague, open-ended explanation that we are getting. Probably not going to, you know, find out anything deeper than that. Other than speculation. So, Everett Golson is gone for the foreseeable future. Sounds like the window is open for him to potentially return next year. But we'll see how it goes, whether... He does what needs to be done to come back or if he transfers or whatever and you know this is just yet another lesson in the unpredictability of knucklehead college kids you just never know with these college kids all you can do with your recruiting classes is stockpile as many of these so-called you know top ranked blue chip recruiting classes as you can because kids are gonna get kicked out of school transfer not get any better get injured whatever you just never know what these you know kind of things so what does that leave um, left for Notre Dame for this coming season chances are Tommy Reese is going to be the quarterback which you know we all know what Tommy Reese is the guy who I'd like to see step up is Andrew Hendricks because he has more physical talent. You know, Tommy Reese is a guy who's always going to make the right throw. He's always going to make the right read, but you're limited with what you can do because he's not very physically talented. While Andrew Hendricks has the physical tools, but he's not very bright. He hasn't figured out the offense in, you know, three years, and there's no reason to expect the light bulb to go on, you know, this year, anytime soon. If he hasn't gotten it by now, chances are he's never going to get it. And then you have Mr. Elite 11, the true freshman Malik Zaire. But regardless of who the quarterback is, who's he going to throw to? Tyler Eifert is gone. Devontae Neal and Justin Ferguson transferred. So you have TJ Jones left and some unproven backups and um freshman there's talent there brian kelly's recruited well but it's talent that we don't know anything about it's unproven talent so you might as well just run the single wing with sierra wood and george atkinson i guess if it was me i would go with malik zaire i would go with a true freshman we see we've seen redshirt freshman quarterbacks and true freshman quarterbacks do very well in recent years you know, Zaire was a highly touted guy, a Elite 11 finalist. Touchdown. Reports are that he's looked good in practice and in the spring, but, you know, whatever, whatever that's worth. Why not just throw him out there, see what you got. If he catches lightning in a bottle, away you go. You have your next big thing. If not, you can always go back to Reese. But, you know, Reese, while I think is steady... And you can certainly win games with him. You know, I don't think if you plan on accomplishing big things offensively, he's going to be your guy because, you know, like I said, his skill set is limited. But it's probably going to be Reese. That's probably the way BK is going to go. For NCAA 14, I'll probably just throw Malik Zaire out there. <laughs> Heck, ND should... You know, place a call to that diva gunner and see if he wants to come back. <laughs> Why not? You know, Gunner's a bit of a drama queen. He might decide to bolt Cincinnati and ride on back to South Bend. But whatever. Gunner wants the chance to play sooner rather than later. That's probably not going to happen. So, Liberty Bowl, here we come. <laughs> Just looking at it realistically, I just don't see um, any 
proven playmakers on offense, or a lot of proven playmakers on offense. The defense I expect to be solid. They're well coached. They have talent there on that side of the ball. I think they're going to be, you know, just fine defensively. But offensively, ugh, don't know. I know that must be driving Brian Kelly um, crazy because his forte is offense. He's one of the um, pioneers of the spread offense, of the modern spread offense. He's a spread offense guru. And we were just starting to see his offense open up toward the end of last season as he trusted Golson with more and more stuff. But again, with Reese, you can only do so much. So this game is over. That's why taking that situation. Everett Golson, I hate you. Thanks for doing this to me and ruining my year. Talk to you all later.